Hello YouTube, I'm going to bring you a quick tutorial on using the add-on Tell Me When. Um, so to begin with, you need to go to the Curse website, download the add-on. I strongly recommend if you don't have the Curse client and you are interested in using add-ons, then you get Curse client because it's an easy way of downloading and managing add-ons, like so. You can see what add-ons I've got here. Um, I will put a link for the add-on tell me when in the description but this is a tutorial on how to use it because some of you aren't clear on how to use it. Um, to start with, to get the options up, we want to be getting, typing in to say slash tmw. You'll get this come up. This is just your first group. Now I'm going to show you a tutorial on how I set up my personal um, preferences for it. So I have my cooldowns and um, my buffs and debuffs and all sorts on different bars. So what I do is, because I need more than one group, you go into system, sorry, interface, add-ons, go to tell me when, then go to groups. Now you can either add icon or bar. Icon is like these, it is literally just an icon that appears. So like I use it for my to remind me when my cooldowns reset. So my um shadow blades and my shadow dance. Um so what happens is when they're ready to be used they just appear, appear nice and big where you can see the selected boxes. Um I also use it for my tricks and trade on my um combat spec but I'm just gonna do PB Actually, I'll do both. I'll do PvP and PvE. All of my ones that I use for both my classes. The bar is like so. I need two of these for... You'll need two of these, so add another group, bar. And you'll only need one of the others to do how I set it up. Um, what this has is it has a little icon. Say you've got your, you want to manage your slice and dice to make sure you've got it up. It has a little icon where you slice and dice and it has a little... The bar will have a little timer written on it and it will empty and as it gets to zero that means you need to refresh your slice and dice for instance. I also have this one up here because I like to have my feint on there so I know when I'm getting focused in PvP that I can keep my feint up and keep spamming it so I'm not being hit for too much. So to start with I'm going to place my cooldowns on here. I'm going to first of all use buff no, sorry. Spell cooldown in this selection box here. And then in the choose spells, you need to choose the spell you want to use. So I'm going to start with Tricks of the Trade. I know this is um, this is for PV, um, PVE. The custom texture just is which you know spell texture you want to use. I usually just use what it is, Tricks of the Trade. I use Tricks of the Trade texture. Um, you need to click Enabled as well to make sure that it's working and make sure you've got ticked usable and this is just a um, opacity level so how opacity I just have it on 100% um, I'm now going to do shadow blades so again it's a spell cooldown type in shadow blades select the one select the texture shadow blades enabled and then ok and that is done so, so just to show you when I use shadow blades it disappears and obviously when it cools down in three minutes you'll see it pop back pop back up again. So I also put here my shadow dance and what else do I put? What else? Oh I put my killing spree there as well. Um so spell cooldown shadow dance. It doesn't matter if the spell is in the macro so I've got my shadow dance macro it will still oh sorry I didn't click enabled you make sure you click enabled um, it will still work with the spell so my for my combat spec my shadow dance shadow blades and combat no okay. sorry my shadow blades and my adrenaline rush are macro together so this is why I use shadow blades as the thing so when a shadow blades comes up um, it still works with the macro. It doesn't not work because it's in a macro. The uh, last one I'm going to put on here, this is for combat, is Killing Spree. Don't 
if you had to click enabled and done. So that's cooldown. So all that happens is when you use the spells, they disappear. Yeah? And when they're ready to be used again, they'll appear. Like Tricks of the Trade is. Okay? The next one is um, the uh, buffs and debuffs. So I'm going to put the faint buff up here. Now, this is where it gets a little bit tricky. You need to go to select buffs and debuffs, like so. Now the spell is going to be faint to start with. Obviously, this is just a tutorial of the ones I use. I use quite a lot at the moment because I'm a bit lazy like that. Now, it's a buff on yourself, so the units you need to watch is player. Okay, remember to click enabled. It's a buff, so tick buff. Um, only check mine because when you're on a boss and you're using it for things like um, um, rupture for instance um, obviously if there's more than one road there's going to be more than one rupture up there so you need to check only check mine and show timer and show timer text so it will not appear until you use it as soon as I use it there it is and there's the timer and there's the bar for Three, two, one, and go again. Slash tell me when. Actually, if we don't show silent text, I think it still has a text on there. Slash tell me when. Yeah, so it still has the um the amount there, but it just the the show text just means it shows the text on the icon itself as well. So it's up to you whether you tick that. I I don't tick it usually. I don't know why I did tick it then. Um. So for the rest of them, I use. There, come on. Just tell me when. Don't forget, this is both my PvP and PvE. Um, I use Slice and Dice. Um, I use Rupture. I use Recuperate. And something else. I will just put um, Recuperate up for a minute. So, Recuperate, because that's a buff on yourself. So, Recuperate. Enabled. It's actually a didn't select buff and debuff. So, buff. Only check mine. Show timer enabled. Okay. Um, this one I will do slice and dice, and that is also a buff on yourself. So only check mine. Show timer. Show timer enabled. Slice and dice. Slice and dice. Slice. Oh, slice and dice. Um, next, I'm going to use rupture now this is different because it's a debuff on the player so what you do is you put the spell in so rupture as you normally would make sure it's enabled and units to watch would be target um, only check mine and show timer because remember you're only checking yours not other people's other rogues ruptures okay or um, the last one I use is um, I need to be in combat spec 4 which is my revealing strike because it is important to have revealing strike up um, I don't you don't necessarily I usually manage my revealing strike quite well but I just like to have it up there because it's pretty revealing strike again this is a debuff so you're watching your target only check mine show timer okay um, I have only put that up recently because I used as my rotation for combat I used to just put revealing strike every time I started a new set of combo points but I've decided that I should only renew it when it's about to fall off because you get more damage from using Sinister Strike. So, simply to get rid of it, type slash tell me when again and all your cooldowns are there. So if I use Killing Spree, that will disappear. And then if I put a Rupture up, oh, hello, that's not working. Is a Slice and Dice working? Slice and Dice is working. I don't think I ticked Rupture correctly. I haven't done these correctly. Right. What, let me just check what I've done wrong. 
Revealing strike, units to watch, target. Ah, debuff. Sorry, okay. I did not tell you on revealing strike and rupture. If it is a debuff, make sure you tick debuff. It should work now. There we go. Yes, yeah, so it's a debuff on the target. Make sure you tar select target and debuff, obviously. So let's have a slice and dice up and a bit of recuperate up. So there we go. They're all up there. And if I use my cooldown, it disappears. If I use my tricks of trick, I can't use my tricks of trick up on the target. They disappear. So I need to refresh my slice and dice, etc. Put a bit of a rupture up that one. Eviscerate. It just makes it so much easier, to be honest. I mean, yeah, you could say it's lazy if you like, but it's down everyone to their own, to be honest. This is how I set it up. Obviously, you can do it for different things that you find more important. So my rupture's about to fall off. I could possibly wait it a bit longer, but I'm going to re refresh it. And I'm just doing... And my slice and dice is about to fall off, so I'll just put, refresh that one as well. So I'm just doing a nice casual 30 odd DPS, you know, nothing special, I don't think I've like, oh I have got weapons poisoned. Um, so yeah, that's how I use my tell me when add-on. Um, comment in the description, um, sorry, the link will be in the description as I said before. Um, give me any feedback and let me know how you get on. Any questions, just comment below. Thank you very much, goodbye.